Hello there. A common activity that people would like to use when they are creating an interactive project in Scratch is to have a character that can walk across the screen. So that's what we're going to do today. I've got a character here. This is Scratch, our uh, Scratch cat. And what I want to make him do is I'm going to start him down in this corner and I'd like just to have him pacing back and forth. Now I want to make it look like he's walking so I'm going to have to change his costume as he walks and when he gets to the edge I want to make sure that he turns around and goes the other direction. So let's start off with a plan. In order to plan, right click and click on add comment. Now I've got this yellow sticky note thing that I can use to break down what I would like to have happen. So in this case I'm going to say when I when I click the green flag a scratch cat should and I'm going to do this as a list. One, I want to make sure you start in the bottom right or bottom left hand corner. I want to make sure he uh, starts walking to the edge. Uh, I want to make sure he uh, looks like he's walking. So I'll put that in there as a comment. Look like he's walking. Uh, when he gets to the edge, I want him to turn around and go to the other edge. And I just want to repeat all of this indefinitely. Repeat forever. Great. Plan. Plan. What I would like to do is go ahead and get started here with when I click on the green flag. I'm going to find that over in events in my coding area. Click on the events circle and I can see all of my different event walks which usually have a when at the beginning. I'm going to click, grab the when the green flag is clicked and the next thing I said is I want to start in the bottom left hand corner. So if I'm going to be moving my character around, I'm going to find those blocks over in the motion blocks. Click on motion and make sure that I go to a specific location. I'm going to grab this go to x negative 186 and y negative 119. Now that's the current position of my cat. So by moving my cat to where I wanted him to start in the first place, the go to block went ahead and put those coordinates in there. I can always change these if I want. If I want to move it up a little bit, I might say negative 100. And uh, that should move my cat up just a little bit from where it's at. Now that was the first, the next thing I wanted to do. So now I want to do is I want to start walking to the edge. Uh, and I need to make sure that I look like I'm walking. Well, if I want to do something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, I probably need a loop. I can find loops over in the control blocks which is the fifth circle down. If you click on that, you can find the loops right at the beginning. I have a wait block and then a couple of loop blocks. In this case, I want it to go on forever, so I'm going to grab a forever loop. And within the forever loop, I want to change my costume back and forth between different states of walking. So the way that I'll do that is I go to looks. And in looks, I'm just going to go to the next costume. I'm going to drag that costume out. If you're curious, whether or not your sprite has another costume, you can click on the Costumes tab and you'll notice Scratch Cat has two costumes, Costume 1 and Costume 2. And if I just go back and forth between these, it kind of looks like it's walking. So that's what I'm going to use in this case. I'm going to click back on the Code tab and I said I wanted to make him start walking. The next thing I need to do is I need to actually move the cat in order to get him to walk. So we'll just grab over in the motion blocks, this move 10 steps. And I'll put that um, right after I've uh, changed my costume. Now the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to test this out. So at this point, uh, I think I've done the, when I click the green flag, I'm going to start in the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to start walking to the edge. I haven't done this when he gets to the edge yet. We'll look at that in just a moment after we try this out. So I'm going to click the green flag. And you see my cat kind of goes over there. It's going a little bit fast. So there's a few things that I can do to try to change that. I'm going to click the stop button. And um, just so that there's a little bit of time in between each step, if I go over to control and I grab the weight block, 
it has wait one second. Now one second in between steps is an awful long time. So let's just try to wait point 0.1 seconds and see what that looks like. I'm gonna click the green flag again. And now I think I kind of like that, the way that it's walking. So we've done uh, our main um, plan here. When we click the green flag, we've done one and two. We haven't allowed him to get to the edge and turn around. So let's hit click the stop button. And now when we get to the edge, uh, we want to sense if we're actually touching the edge. Over in the motion blocks, if you click on that, there is a block that uh, says if on edge bounce. So you have to scroll down to find it. And it's right here, it says if on edge bounce. That means turn around if you hit the edge. So I'm gonna choose that block and drag it out here and just put that into my forever loop. So now this cat is forever gonna be walking, but if it gets to the edge, it's gonna bounce and turn around. Let's try it out. The cat is walking across the screen. Cat gets to the edge and turns around. Now, this is kind of not the type of turning around I wanted it to do. It's walking upside down as it goes backwards. There's a few things that I can do to prevent this behavior where the cat is literally turning 180 degrees. Uh, we want to kind of simulate the idea that he's turning 180 degrees in 3D space. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to fix its rotation style. The way that I can do that is in the motion blocks, if you scroll up a little bit, um, there is a block that says set rotation style. And uh, let me look on here. Oh, it's actually right under the if on edge bounce. I'm going to grab that set rotation style. And right at the very beginning, I'm going to set that rotation style to left right. What that means is I can't rotate the cat upside down. It can only flip left and right. So it's either facing left or facing right. Now the other thing that I ought to do is I ought to make sure that my cat is facing the right direction to begin with. So there's another block in the motion that says point in direction. And I'm going to just point my cat uh, right at the very beginning. If you click on it, it says point in direction 90. You can see there's a graphic image which direction that's going to be pointing. And in this case, I want that cat looking off to the right. And I think that is just about how I'd like it. So let's test it out and see what we have. The cat starts in the left-hand corner, walks across the screen, hits the edge, turns around, and is walking all the while and goes back and forth. And that's about it. If I want my cat to go faster, I could change it from moving 10 steps to moving 20 steps at a time. And now you can see the cat is taking a little bit bigger steps. And so it goes faster as it's walking across the screen. And that's it for this coding tidbit. Think of ways that you can use the forever block, the point and direction, and setting the rotation style in your own coding.